Welcome to the Bayou Country Music Association show brought to you by our partners, Southern Sound Outfitters. And today I have a very special guest with me, uh, modern day outlaw, modern day Merle Haggard, uh, North Georgia native, Mr. Jacob Bryan. How's it going, Jacob? Good, man. How about yourself? Oh, man, we can't complain. Uh, even if we did, you know, nobody be listening, brother. <laughs> So how's it been going, man? You've uh, if you've not followed Jacob, I mean, obviously he dropped the single earlier in the year, "Pour Whiskey on My Grave." It's been doing extremely well on our Spotify charts and been on our top thirty for since almost damn near it came out. So uh, how's how's 2018 been for you, brother? It's been awesome. That song it, it kind of took off, you know. We we just released it because I like the song, could relate the song, you know. Uh, now I mean here we are eight million views later and I think it's sitting at like 60 on the music road chart right now so that's my first time ever charting on an actual Nashville radio chart you know that's it's awesome hard to, it's and, hard to get radio to play real country anymore you know? yeah yeah it's, that's pretty much what you know behind what we do man we promote all the I call it independence but obviously people on the next level such as yourself aren't I guess necessarily independent you know you got your management and stuff but it's that real country that outlaw country I mentioned a modern day Merle I mean you have that vibe, brother, and uh, it's awesome to see that getting back to the mainstream Nashville scene, you know? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it myself. Now, many of you might know a name, Luke Combs. You might have heard of him, you know, got three consecutive number ones all in a row off of his uh you know his album you actually had your hand in writing some of those songs if I'm not mistaken, am I correct? Yeah, I wrote the song Out There. It's the first track on that album. Awesome. That's a very good song, too. I, I know it wasn't a radio single release, but if you've listened to that album over and over like I have, I mean, it's a it's a great song, man. I appreciate that. So you teased everybody on your Instagram last week or a couple of days ago about some new music you got coming, and uh, I know you've been kind of quiet since the release of poor whiskey on my grave so i'm kind of waiting on this thing just to bomb out at us with some awesome (laughs) stuff man so can you give us a little insight on the new stuff you got coming yeah man we're uh we're actually releasing a single called more than one year uh written by one of my good buddies eric lee beddingfield we were actually he's a you know outlaw country singer but he uh he actually came down from nashville for the video shoot yesterday we were shooting the music video for that awesome Um, we're, we're hoping to release it um second week of july um, we haven't set an exact date or released an exact date yet because you gotta kind of wait on tune core and all the contributors to get everything yeah yeah set up and, handled, um, and all that but yeah we got the new single coming and then uh, an album to follow that so and is this gonna be a full length album similar to your unplugged stuff or is this gonna be ep or yeah, this will be a twelve song record. It's my first wow. full length. Uh, full I can't wait. Release. I can't wait, guys and gals. I'm I'm a fan, and I can't wait to hear what he's got, man. I mean, you talented musician, talented songwriter, and and, and you have that outlaw style, but also that you know that uh, one of my favorites uh, of yours is uh, "Best Part of Me Is You," and uh, that's just if you can't relate to that as as a country boy that just got a girl that's you know. She's doing you right and making you better. Then I don't know who can, man. That, that's another good <laughs> sign. The man can do it all, you know. So, get, give us a little insight of "Poor Whiskey on My Grave," how that song came about, uh, as far as the writing and uh, obviously the the video that's been popping off on on everything. Yeah, I mean that that particular tune I actually didn't write. Um, I, I was playing a writer's round and I was playing with this guy I'd never met named Jamie Grooms. And, he took off into that song and literally within the first two lines I was looking at my manager in the crowd you know and I said I, yeah. hey, I, mean, I think we got something here, here. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but uh ended up becoming good friends with him and yeah he and I actually wrote the title track for the new record um it's called Practice What I Preach it's something we ain't released yet but that's what the album's gonna be called and whatnot. but uh as far as the video for Poor Whiskey uh I mean that was just something I kind of had in my head of you know what I would want you know, my brothers and friends and whatever to do, you know, celebrate my life if I were to go on. So I, I pretty much wrote the script for the video and, you know, went through it with my video director and he liked the ideas I had in my head and 
did a damn good job of capturing kind of what I had. Definitely, man. It's, it's got that Sons of Anarchy theme to it where you, you damn near looking back on your uh, your TV or your, your phone to see if this is a waiting for Jax Taylor to jump out of the corner because, man, it's got that outlaw, you know, riding <laughs> bikes, breaking out, you know, and it just screams a, a rebel country outlaw, man, that uh, it seems to be a little bit, f- not forgotten, but, you know, kind of in the shadows of mainstream country. But it's awesome to see it, you know, taking off and, you know, Georgia and Florida and all the East Coast, man, Alabama, they got so much flooded talent, man, and, and uh, no, much respect to you guys. And, you know, I know we do a lot of Texas uh, country and stuff like that, but I'm not biased at all. And, man, I got friends from Georgia and that went uh, – I don't know if you know a Dawson Edwards. Uh, he's my good buddy out of, out of uh, Georgia. And he does so many of them, man. And it's uh, it's crazy the amount of talent that that, that state and the eastern states have. And uh, they pretty much venture up and try to get to Nashville, man. And uh, is, is that pretty much what, what Jacob's goal is? And I'm saying Jacob – uh, this is a confusing interview for anybody. I'm Jacob, your host, but we got Jacob Bryant. So, Jacob <laughs> Bryant, what is the goal in the future for Jacob Bryant music? Man, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm, people ask all the time, you know, do you want to be, you know, a co- billionaire, whatever you want to call it, big superstar, whatever. No, I mean, my whole thing with it is you can do what you love for a living. That's all that matters. I mean, in my head, I've already made it. You know, I've been playing guitar and singing for a living full time for over five years now so I mean for a poor country boy grew up in a single wide you know I'm, I'm beyond made it I guess <laughs> to, to me but um, I don't know what the future holds man what God's got planned for me but I'm just gonna keep writing songs keep releasing them and you know grow up growing the thing fan, one fan at a time and one venue at a time and if, if it blows up and gets huge so be it and if it don't man I'll, I'll die a happy man doing what I'm doing Amen to that, man. Amen to that. So, I mean, you mentioned you've been going on five years now that you've been doing this for a living. What brought you to, to music as a, a young child or as a you know young adult that made you want to do it for a living? Yeah, I uh, started playing guitar when I was eight. Um, and my grandparents had a bluegrass band. We sat on the porch and, you know, pig and grand. Of course, they were having some adult beverages. So you know, <laughs> hey. that, but, uh, yeah. But now we... Uh, it was just always in my, my blood, my family, and everybody played music, and I just kind of, I don't know, I didn't really have a choice, man. I, as soon as I picked up a guitar, I just never laid it down, and started singing probably around the age of 15, and sang in church and stuff like that. Did some praise and worship leader type stuff, and you know, alternative or rock, like Christian group, and awesome. then uh, when 2010 hit, my mom passed away, I kind of stepped away from the whole Christian music thing, went down a little bad path for a minute but i, I come up all right in the country scene <laughs> man i think that's what makes uh you've obviously been through hell and high water in your lifetime and to me that makes you know writers and songs really that much more relatable because they sing from the heart and about their past experiences and that's what makes music so awesome man it, it can really capture people and let them live you know through your songs and uh like I said earlier, man, you got the the outlaw style, but you, you also come in with some heart, heartfelt songs too. So uh, you got you know very talented musician, folks. I mean, he's not just uh, he's not all all outlaw rock. He can also hit you with the slow stuff. So I mean, I'm I'm pumped for the new record, man. And and you said y'all yeah. probably gonna have it end of the year. Yeah, it'll probably be by the end of the year. We're like I said, we're releasing this single second week of July. We're hoping and then probably give that single a good. 90 days or so and then probably drop the record um but i mean it like you said i mean it's got a lot of everything on it there's you know I, we actually went in and recorded a full band version of that song i wrote with josh phillips called sometimes i pray which is about my mom and yeah awesome you know, song that kind of thing but but that one you know we captured it in a little different light than the acoustic version and um like i said i mean there's all kind of stuff on this record there's some heartfelt stuff there's some love songs there's some uh, some praise and Dale, praise and Dale songs and all yeah. that stuff. Praise and praise Dale, man. Uh, so we got the song "Whiskey on My Grave." It's been on our Spotify charts, you know, top thirty for months now, and it's just you know been doing nothing but good on our side. So we was gonna play it for the folks that you know might not have heard it and live under a rock. But I want to let you introduce it, man, and uh, we'll play it on out and come back and ask you a few more questions and let you you know roll along with your your life, man, and and get to your your weekend here so 
if you if you want to, I'll give you the floor to go ahead and and uh, you know. Go. Yes, sir, man. Absolutely. This is Jacob Bryant, and this is my single called "Pour Whiskey on My Grave." <laughs> Pretty flowers And don't sit and cry for me My tombstone Come and visit me In the midnight hours With your party on Think of me and recall All the good times Bringing me more in a bottle of old gym, baby Take a swig as the haunted honky-tonk moon shines And remember me And pull whiskey on my grave Let it seep into my bones Have a drink with me Even when I'm gone I'll do the same for you That you made Pour whiskey on my grave well, My time's up Don't let the good times be gone Let me still go out Like I wanted to go Kicking it up And drinking with my boots on With a rebel soul
pour whiskey on my grave by Mr. Jacob Bryant. He's uh, in the studio with us and talking about, you know, the, the single and talking about his upcoming shows you got and new music you got coming. So we're really pumped, man. So this summer, I mean, what you got as far as, uh, you know, shows and, and tours? Man, we got all kind of stuff coming up. If anybody wants to uh, see if we're coming your way, just go to jacobbryantmusic.com and right on the uh, on the first page there, it'll it'll pop up the shows as you scroll down. But man, we're in F- Illinois, Georgia, Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania, Connecticut with Brantley Gilbert. Um, got some stuff with Gary Allen, um, Mississippi, Louisiana, Iowa. Damn, y'all gonna Florida. be all over, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're all over the place. But yeah, just jacobbrownmusic.com if anybody's interested in checking the show out. Yeah, for sure thing, I always tag, you know, when when I publish these, I always promote the, the websites for the artists and all their social media. So you guys, if you ain't following them already, you can follow them. You can go check out his website for all of his shows, buy some, some merch you got, some badass merchandise, and uh, order some of that. And, you know, we'll make sure and tag that link on there. And you did mention Louisiana. I know you're going to be coming to Louisiana to uh, Cowboys, our good sponsors over there in, in Lafayette. I want to say it's going to be on the 25th. And my buddy Clay Cormier and the Highway Boys will be opening for you. So that's going to be a hell of a show. If you folks ain't got nothing going on, you're going to take that day off and the next day, too, to recover probably. But it's going to be a hell of a show, man. Yeah, I'm excited about it, brother. So I'm going to ask you a kind of an off-the-wall question here. I got kind of carried away, but I always like to ask, if you could do a collaboration on a song as far as writing, with anybody in Nashville, anybody, wherever, something that's just one of your all-time, okay, after you do this, like, I, I've done what I wanted to do, like, it doesn't even matter if it ends tomorrow. Like, who would be that person that you could say, uh, yeah, that would be the person I'd want to sit in a room with and, and dish out a song with? Uh, probably uh, Sturgill Simpson. <laughs> Sturgill Hello. Simpson. Him or Brent Cobb. Either one, uh, another great, uh, another great artist, man. Brent's got he's taken off with his new uh, record out, and I'm, it's good to see him. You know, get some recognition for that. Absolutely. Well, awesome, man. I mean, I've had artists come through and say everything from Eric Church to you know just off the wall things, but I've never heard a, a true blue answer like that, folks. I mean, that's that shows you shows you that it can be attained. Definitely can, <laughs> man. So awesome, man. Yeah, we uh, we really thank you, man. I know you got a busy schedule. You're going all over the country tour and got some new stuff. Uh, what's the name of the single that you, y'all are planning on trying to release next month sometime? It's called More Than One Year. More Than One Year. And, you know, folks, be on the lookout for that next month sometime. Uh, you know, it's going to be a good one, I know, because he doesn't put out much bad music. But uh, you guys check that out. And we, like I said, man, we thank you for taking your time out and, uh, you know, being on the show. And we also thank, you know, I got to always thank my, my partners and, and uh, you know, sponsors that helped me, helped me get out there and helped me do what I, what I can for the uh, country music scene down here. And uh, first and foremost, of course, is Southern Sound Outfitters. Uh, I mentioned them at the top of the show. Great organization, veteran-owned organization. They support a lot of uh, up-and-coming artists out of the Texas music scene. They have some great apparel on their website. Check them out on their website and uh, follow all their social medias. I know they got some new lady tank tops out now, so y'all be sure and go check them out. And in, if you do any kind of outdoors rec stuff, I mean, you're from the south, you're from the north, you like to fish, you like to hunt, you like to do anything like in that category, go visit my buddy Corey Adams with Swamp Assassin. Very good dude and uh, makes some hell, hell of a line of, of, of apparel for outdoorsmen, fishermen, hunting, all the whole nine yards. So y'all go check them out. They're having a special this week for Hat Week, so you can go check out any one of their hats and enter in the promo code hat week 20 to receive 20 percent off of that hat for the entire the entire week so be sure and write that down that's hat week 20 as the promo code and going off of you know the heat in the summertime i mean you gotta you gotta have a nice chest you gotta have to keep some cold beverages i mean you don't want to dehydrate out there so y'all go check out my buddies with swampshop.com 
selling swamp gear roto molded ice chest these things are beyond durable have built-in bottle cap openers so no more breaking your teeth opening the bottle unless that's what you like to do to show off i mean that's you but yeah check those guys out they have a variety of colors and, and sizes of, the, of their ice chests at a great price locally owned business out of orneville so check them out at swampshop.com and of course like i said uh you know our our big sponsors the trifecta and cowboys nightclub arena and western store uh check out the western store it's full to the brim of all your you know western needs and jeans boots uh, saddles the whole nine yards check them out and if you go a little bit further back to the arena they do some some rodeo shows and whatnot every once in a while and uh they have some stuff coming up and also you, you check in with the nightclub on the left of the parking lot area down there at Bakke Plaza and Scott and they have Cowboys Nightclub with the infamous big bull in front. They have live music every weekend. Uh I'm pumped. They got some great lineups for the summer. I know next weekend my buddy Brian Frazier's coming from Nashville and and playing for us. And uh young Nate Rogers out of uh, Lake Arthur, Louisiana is gonna be opening for him. And then I uh, know July 20th, if you skip on down, my buddy Ashton Dupre will be opening for Sam Riggs, who's coming down to, to play on July 20th. You can order your tickets on Facebook now, $10 a piece. They'll be 15 at the door. Then we skip into August and got some big names, none other than Randall King's coming in Sept- I mean, I'm sorry, in August, September. They got another lineup, but back into August... You got Randall King, and opening up for him is Casey Pivato Band, and that's going to be the 17th. Tickets and stuff will go on sale probably within a month of that show. And then the very following weekend, the man himself, Mr. Jacob Ryan, will be playing with Clay Cormier and the Highway Boys, both entertaining, upbeat bands, and it's going to be a hell of a show. So, yeah, definitely want to thank them. And we also thank uh, our fellow websites that help us out. I mean, we got... Texas uh, Music Pickers dot com. They they do a lot for the uh, up and coming scene in Texas. Southern Music Scene dot com. And we always going to close out with uh, you know a big thank you to the Texas Country Music Association. Uh, we are now officially you know part of that organization. They got a lot of good things going on for their state and their music. So yeah, man, that's that's all I got on this end as far as thanking my 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 everybody. I, I'll even say thank you, Mama. I know you're listening. We love you. So, Jacob, man, I had a pleasure talking with you. I can't wait to see the new music coming, and we definitely can't wait to see you rock out down here in Scott in the you know, next few months. So I'm going to let you take take the floor, man, and say any kind of you know, last words you'd like. Yeah, man, thanks for having me on. And uh, like I said, anybody want to check anything out, it's just jacobbryanmusic.com. There's links to all my uh, social media accounts and things of that nature on there uh, as well. But, man, I hope to see you out on the road and... Uh, Come see me at the merch table after the, any show. Um, and I always ask if I do meet and greet stuff like that. I don't, uh, I don't really believe in making somebody pay to meet me, so I just go out to the merch table after every show and I'll sign, take pictures, and do whatever. So come say hey, and uh, once again, thanks for having me on, man. That's awesome, man. Uh, awesome guy, awesome musician. Can't wait to hear the new stuff, brother. And uh, we hope you have a good weekend. And you know, you you have a great. Uh, I don't know if you're off this weekend or if you're playing, man. But either way, you know. <clears throat> Have a good time for us down here, and we'll be waiting on you. Yes, sir. I appreciate it.